I'm glad to be here to announce another step forward in the restrictions exemption program. The main goal of the program is to reduce the risk of spreading COVID-19 while enabling businesses to operate safely for their employees and their customers. It has also encouraged people to get more information on vaccines and get vaccinated, and it's working. We are still seeing far too many new cases of COVID-19 every day, but they seem to have plateaued, and I'm hopeful that they're beginning to decline. There are many factors that contribute to that, and I think this program is one of them. And vaccinations are up. The total number of first and second doses given in September was 54% higher than it was in August. And as mentioned by the Premier, we are at 85% of first doses. That's great news. And I think it's clear that the restrictions exemption program is one of the drivers. So I'm pleased to update you on the next step to make the program even more effective. On September 19th, we launched a fast access website for people to download their vaccination in a convenient card format. The website was a huge success. It's been used more than 3 million times and a typical transaction takes just a few seconds. All across our province, businesses and venues have started checking these records. 10 days ago, we took the next step, a more secure vaccine record with a watermark and a QR code. Over 800,000 Albertans have already accessed their enhanced record over the past week. And today, I'm pleased to announce another step forward, the launch of the free government-supported Alberta COVID Records Verifier app. The app is now available for download in both the Apple and Android app stores. Businesses and other organizations can start using the app right now to check proof of vaccination for patrons who have a QR code. It's fast, easy, and secure. The app does not store any personal information. It displays the person's name, date of birth, and whether the person is vaccinated. The QR code contains a secure digital signature that verifies the record, which makes it extremely hard to forge. Albertans can get their enhanced vaccine record with a QR code online at alberta.ca slash COVID records. I encourage everyone to get your new record as soon as you can. You can download it or take a screenshot of it, and you can also print it if you wish. If you don't have a phone, you can get a printed version from a local registry agent at no cost. We're asking everyone to get their new record over the next month, and then starting Monday, November 15th, the new record with the QR code will be the single acceptable proof of vaccination here in Alberta. We want to give people time to get their new record and give businesses time to make sure the process works for them. But we also want to take advantage of the security and convenience of the QR code and build on the success of our REP program. So let's take a look at how it works. So the first step is we download the app to an Android or Apple smartphone. The app and a person's QR code. And if, if you're seeing online, and I can't see it in this room, but it may be online, if you take a look, you'll see what the enhanced vaccine record looks like. It includes your name, date of birth, COVID vaccinations, and the QR code. Now, once it's scanned in the app, the next slide will show what comes up. When a valid QR code is scanned, a green check mark will verify the person and ensure that they are vaccinated. It will also display the person's name, date of birth, which businesses can then check against their ID for people aged 18 and up. The record will show as invalid if a person does not meet the vaccination requirement or if the QR code has been tampered with. Now, privacy of health information is vitally important. So to repeat, the app does not store any personal information and it does not link to any external data. The QR code isn't a hot link to an external database or website. All of the required information is contained within the code itself. So that's it. Starting today, if you've got a QR code and a business has a reader app, you just show and go.